Kraft Foods Company presents Willard Waterman as the Great Gildersleeve. Yeah, hello there. The Great Gildersleeve is brought to you by the Kraft Foods Company. In, In just a moment, the latest adventure of the Great Gildersleeve. But first, a word about another kind of adventure. An adventure in flavor. For right now at your grocer's, there's a wonderful new salad oil for use in your homemade dressings, your cooking, your baking. It's Kraft Salad Oil, the first salad oil ever offered for your home use by the makers of all those wonderful Kraft prepared dressings. Now, Kraft Salad Oil is more than just a new oil. It's a new kind of oil, lighter bodied, to mix quickly and perfectly with all other ingredients. That's because it's not just refined, it's superfined by a special process created by Kraft. Yes, superfined to put new magic into the salad dressings you make yourself, into those wonderful chiffon cakes you pride yourself on, into every home recipe that calls for liquid shortening. Don't wait to get acquainted with Kraft salad oil. Look for the bottle with the beautiful label tomorrow at your grocer's. Get Kraft salad oil. On these fine spring mornings, when the great Gildersleeve has nothing much to do, he likes to go out and putter around the yard. He contemplates the flowers, admires the butterflies, inspects the blooms on his apple tree, and marvels at the green, green grass. Yeah, by George, the place looks great. And there, about once a year, he takes a look behind the garage. <laughs> My goodness, place looks terrible. How does trash accumulate? Leroy! Leroy! It's making a pretty big pile, Unc. Yeah, now keep raking, Leroy. Uh, everything we don't want gets tossed behind the garage. Tar paper. Cardboard boxes, old shoes, shingles. Yeah. Yeah. What's under there, Leroy? Is that my hot water bottle? Yeah, but it's split. You sat on it. Yeah, I guess I did. Uh, the night of that big freeze. Uh, let's see, where are the matches? Can I light it for you, Unc? Yeah, why not? You're a Boy Scout. Uh, tenderfoot. Uh-oh. Oh, what's the matter, Leroy? Go ahead, light it. I used to have a horrible thought. Oh? Oh? The wind is blowing toward Mr. Bullard's house. You think we ought to burn the tar paper in the hot water bottle? <laughs> Put out the match, Leroy. Yeah, we better not burn it. I remember the day you burned the old tire and Mr. Bullard came roaring over. Yeah, he did that all right. You sure were shaking, Unc. Oh, I was not. I... It came out without my sweater, that's all. <laughs> Leroy. Uh, what did he call you when he came over, Unc? He, uh, well, I don't remember. I do. He called you a big water buffalo. <laughs> well, I didn't want to start trouble. And when you didn't resent that, he called you a nincompoop. Poop. Oh, Bullard can't call me that. Uh, no, sir. Uh, Leroy, burn the pile. Ah, boy, this is going to be keen. Yeah. yeah, Bullard may not be home anyway. I'm going to light this Excelsior so things start popping fast. Uh -huh. Say, that tar paper's going to make a lot of smoke. I'll say, and the room's taking it all right to Mr. Bullard. We'll smoke him out like a bear. Uh, Leroy, we're not trying to antagonize him. I am. Uh, <laughs> there's Bullard on his porch. He even looks like a bear. Is that him? I can't see for the smoke. <laughs> He's coming across the street. Oh, here we go again. If he calls you a water buffalo, I'll pour it on. Ooh, he better watch it. I've had enough of his. I've had enough of his. Oh, dog, this is going to be the biggest battle we've ever had. This is the most smoke. No, uh, I'm standing on my ground. What a hard neighbor to get along with. Good morning, Gildersleeve. Uh, Bullard, don't you good morning me. Now, what's the matter, Gildersleeve? Are you upset about something? Well, no, no. But aren't you? Why, of course not. Oh, for corn's sake, all that tar paper for nothing. Yeah. 
You mean you don't object to all the, the smoke dripping over your way? Now, Gildersleeve, you do me an injustice. You speak of me as if I were a crotchety mean neighbor. Oh, aren't you? Yeah, I mean... Uh... Oh, I'll, I'll admit there was a time when you irritated me, but not anymore, Gildersleeve. I'm in love with all the world. Well, I'm glad to hear it, Mr. Bullard. <laughs> glad you're not offended. Yeah, I just thought perhaps this smoking tar paper might annoy you. Oh, no, 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 no. As a matter of fact, <clears throat> Gildersleeve, I came over here to tell you I think you're setting a fine example for the neighborhood. <laughs> I am? I like to see the community neat looking and well kept. Uh, Gildersleeve. Yes, Mr. Bowler. Uh, you know, you're a prince of a fellow. Uh, good, good, yes, good, good day. Good day, Mr. Bowler. You hear that, Leroy? He called me a prince of a fellow. He sounds more honest when he calls you an income poop. <laughs>